Lesson 7, percent and equations from geometry. The percent problems we're going to solve are very similar to our fraction of a number problems. Um, but instead of dealing with fractions, we're dealing with percentages. All right. Um, just a couple steps before we start working through some of these problems. All right, percent literally means by the hundred. Right? We know 100 to be the total when we're talking about percentages. When we solve these problems, we're going to use this formula. Okay, it's going to be a percent times the whole equals a part. All right, so when we solve these, we're going to plug percent into the percent. Um, if we're looking for a whole, we'll substitute a variable in for whole, and um, finally, it's that equal to the part. The one thing that you need to remember when solving this problem is you must change the percent to a decimal before solving. Alright, so the percent needs to be changed to a decimal. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. Alright, we have 18 is 20% of what number? Okay, keep in mind your keywords here. Is means equal of means multiply. All right, so we're gonna take this one little bit at a time. 18 is means equal. All right, we have 20%. All right, remember we must change the percent to a decimal, which will make it 0.2 or 0 0.20. And it's of what number or times what number? All right, so it's 18 equals 0.2 and we're solving for x. All right, that's setting up the equation, and hopefully we know how to solve. We would divide by 2 tenths, and 18 divided by 2 tenths is equal to 90, so x equals 90. All right, so make sure that we are following the equation of percent times the whole equals part. All right, let's look at a second example. 1,500 is what percent of 250? All right, let's again take this step by step and set up the problem. 1,500 is, that means equal, what percent, all right, so in this case we're looking for our percent of, and of means multiply, 250. Okay? In order to solve for x, we need to divide by 250. All right, and 250 goes into 1,500. Six times. Now, keep in mind, if x equals six, we need to make that a percent. Okay? Before we had, I had mentioned that we need to change the percent to a decimal. When we come to our answer, we need to change our answer into percent form. And it is possible to have percents that are greater than 100. All right? Keep in mind, in a whole number, the decimal point is following the whole number. And in order to change anything, a decimal number to a percent, we move the decimal over two places to the right. So our solution is actually going to be 600%. Alright, so make sure that if you are looking for a percent, you change your solution to a percent by moving that decimal place two places to the right. Let's go ahead and um, work this uh, next example out together as well. 93 is 30% of what number? Alright, again, we're going to take it step by step. 93 is, which means equals, 30%. Okay, we got to change that 30% to decimal, so it's going to be 0.3 or 0.30 of what number? Okay, so in order to solve for x, we're going to divide by 3 tenths. 93 divided by 3 tenths is 310, so x equals 310. I want you to go ahead and read this example. 7,800 is what percent of 390? Go ahead and pause the video at this time, take just a moment, work this one out, and we'll check the solution when we come back into class. All right, the next thing that we're going to talk about is equations from geometry. All right, we're going to use our basis of what we know in geometry to solve these different equations. In the first one, we're solving for x. Now, keep in mind that each of these um, variables or each of these letters represent the different angles. All right, and keep in mind also that we're solving for x. We're not solving for the angles. All right, what do we know about triangles that will help us in solving x? If we know each of the angles, 
We also know that all three angles in a triangle should equal 180 degrees. So that means if I take angle A plus angle B plus angle C, it should equal 180 degrees. Okay? And if A plus B plus C equals 180, then we can substitute the values in for A, B, and C in order to solve for X. Alright, so A is 2X plus 2. B is 7X plus 18. And C is 6X plus 10. And it should be equal to 180. Go ahead and take just a minute, pause the video, and solve for X. Alright, now that you have solved for X, we're going, we're going to go ahead and we will check that solution when you come into class. Let's look at our next geometry example. Alright, find X, then find the measure of each angle. Alright, we need to solve for the value of X and we also need to solve for the value of each angle. Go ahead and pause the video, work the solution out on your own, and we will check this one in class. Keep in mind your knowledge of exterior opposite angles, interior opposites. All right, this next example, um, we're going to work out together in our notes. Then this one may be a little more complicated. It says the measure of A, B, C, and D are in the ratios 1, 2, 4, 2. Find the measure of each angle. All right, what it means by the ratios is that um, 1 is A, 2 is B, 4 is C, and D is 2. All right, keeping in mind, if B is 2 and D is 2, then those two angles are equal. Okay, C is double B and D, and A is half of B and C. All right? Now, we can use this ratio in setting up an equation for our line. All right? Um, in other words, A is going to be equal to one measurement. B is double A because the ratio is 1 to 2. So if A is X, then B has got to be equal to 2 times X. All right, if A is X and B is 2 times X, C is 2 times B. So 2 times 2X would give me 4X, meaning that C is 4X, and B is the same as D, so D would also be 2X. All right, so we have 2X, 4X, 2X, and X. All of these combined equal a straight line, and the straight line is 180 degrees. So we can say that 2X plus 4X plus 2x plus x equals 180 degrees. All right? So you're solving for the measure of each angle, not just for x. So go ahead. We're going to have to solve for x in the first place, and then solve for the measure of each angle, and then we'll come back and check it out. 